As a nature lover, I have been looking for a place to enjoy my weekend outing. I am told the Stephen Margolis Resort is located only 20 kilometers out of Harare's central business district. I am departing Harare city center, driving for about 10 kilometers using Simon Mazorodze Road until I approach Mbuzi Roundabout. At Mbuzi Roundabout, I am realizing that the owner of the resort, Mr. Stephen Margolis, erected some signage boards with directions to all visitors coming to enjoy the nature with friends and relatives at his resort. From Mbuzi Roundabout, I am directed to take a left turn and drive another 6 kilometers along Chitunguza Road to reach my preferred destination. At this point, I am stunned by the sight of a spectacular Stephen Margolis information billboard with an immaculately looking tall bride and other pictures of various features and facilities I expect to enjoy in the resort. Now I have to turn left from Chitunguza Road into Stephen Margolis Road and I am told you can search it on Google Maps. The Stephen Margolis Road is going to lead me to my destination. On my arrival at the resort's entry point, I am instantly relieved of any of my security worries. Peeping through the vast stretches of indigenous trees here, I am setting my sight on a fascinating piece of architectural brilliance which I am told is a casino for all casino lovers. I am realizing that the entire resort, which lies on a 70-acre piece of land, is fully protected with an electric fence. As a new visitor here, a mere first step of mine from the parking area is doing the trick in igniting my desired feeling of an experience of nature. I am realizing that the hospitality here is top-notch as I am given a warm welcome by a female staff member as I approach the reception. This ever-smiling lady is going to guide me on a tour of the entire resort, leading me to all the fascinating places I am looking forward to seeing. With what I am seeing, I am left confident that, for those looking for an ideal venue for weddings, conferences and other events, Stephen Margolis Resort is the perfect place to be. Its gazebo named Nzo, which is the biggest built facility here, is specially and specifically meant for such events. I am stunned by its enormous capacity to host about 1,200 guests for such events. All facilities I am locating around are skillfully traditionalized with a beautiful flair of architecture in the form of locally appreciated roof thatching. Instantly, I am realizing that the landscape here is quite refreshing and attractive with some fresh and sparkling water reserves and various indigenous tree species. The serenity of this entire place and the views of the environment around are just phenomenal. I am just realizing that the Stephen Margolis Resort is a one-stop shop from nature tours, conference rooms, lodging facilities as well as restaurant and bar facilities. The restaurant building here sits on a high platform of rock outcrops overlooking a beautiful garden and an intriguing big lion head crafted on huge balancing granite boulders. But for my complete tour of the resort, I have the privilege of accessing various observation points to enjoy an ideal bird's view of the entire landscape in and around Stephen Margolis Resort. I am going to climb the Elephant Rock, which is one of the most frequented observation points here. I am honestly enjoying the view of the scenery around Stephen Margolis Resort and will certainly make it a point to return here for the sunset views and dusk moments.
I am taking my time to visit the dam here. I am told this dam is adequately supplied by a perennial stream which is its main tributary. I am also told this water facility is resourceful for those who enjoy fishing and the dam is always open to such activities. But for the purposes of regulation and sustainability, I am told interested fishermen have to pay a fee of $5 and as well abide with the resort's rules and regulations. I now have to put my fearful heights aside as I look forward to the experience of an air walk at Patsanga. The nearby stream and the height here at Patsanga make the whole atmosphere quite refreshing and adventurous. Besides the artistic drawings visitors locate here, I am realizing that Stephen Margolis Resort is fairly rich with some naturalistic and well-preserved prehistoric Bushman paintings. As I kept my first day here at Margolis Resort, my guide leads me to my room where I am going to spend the night. For my electric devices, I am realizing there is no need for me to worry about power here. 24 hour electric power for lighting, recharging of devices and supporting of the Wi-Fi router for my use of internet. This resort is awesome. I enjoyed especially the viewpoint on top of the rocks whereby you can see the entire resort. The conference room, the kitchen, dam viewing and the sunrise early in the morning. You can also see aeroplanes. On the other side of the dam, they call the place Patanga because Kunia Tanga, there's kids area, people can do brides, they can enjoy their weekends there. But what I really liked about this place is the air walk, it was crazy it was scary but i enjoyed it because it was an exciting feeling i would really want to go back there again and certainly the next time i think of enjoying an outing with my friends and family in harare i will think none other than stephen magolas resort my best choice for a complete experience of nature in harare